Hi, and welcome to another strategy session where we hope to help you, the real estate professional, have an idea, discover an action, or maybe just a little light bulb moment that you can go and apply to your business. Hi, my name is Joe Mangum, and I am the founder of The Strategic Agent, and today we're going to be showing you how to get barriers to eat your dust. Yep. Well, many of you know that I am a psychology geek. I am the person who reads psychology today. I am the person who went back to school to get a graduate degree so I could understand the inner workings of a salesperson's mind. I'm the person who wrote an entire thesis about real estate agents. And I'm the person who regularly does studies so they can better understand success of salespeople. Now, if you're my husband who regularly comments that I was a lot more fun before I got that graduate degree, this isn't so great. But if you're a person who totally understands that psychology and real estate sales are incredibly intertwined, then you get to learn from this obsession. And there's really no place where these two things are more intertwined than in business planning. Why? Well, because you don't really sell houses. What you sell is your service package. So when the product you are selling is you and the plan you are building is about you, it becomes a little bit more complicated. And so I have been spending a lot of time, I've dedicated several strategy sessions to talking about the components and the psychology of business planning. So today what we're going to be talking about is a principle that is totally in this world of psychology. What is it? Well, it is business planning barriers. So here's how it goes. When you create your goals and your strategies and actions, you're full of hope. You're full of anticipation. You're excited. Now, as you begin the execution of this plan, problems are going to pop up as they do in every single plan. And, you know, when they're not anticipated, though, they can really kind of throw you off the game. Now, the real question becomes that does it just throw you off your game and you get back on the plan or do you totally abandon the plan? Now, there's a lot of people who do abandon the plan, but there is a solution. And so what you have to do is you have to use anticipation. Yep, you anticipate what might be getting in your way and you can decide how to go around it, under it, over it, change it, whatever you might do before it happens. One of my favorite analogies about this is flying. Let's say I go out to the airport and I get on a plane and I'm going to Paris, one of my favorite places, and the pilot has a flight plan. Well, somewhere in between where I live and Paris, there's going to be stuff that happens. There's going to be weather. There's going to be mechanical problems. Let's hope not. There's going to be traffic. So does the pilot say, oh, well, guess I'm not getting to Paris and get on the intercom and say, hey, everybody, y'all want to go to Barcelona? Yep, nope, they don't do that. Or do they, they anticipate all of those things and they have a plan for taking care of them before they even happen? That is how you build a business plan, is anticipating those things. Let me give you a real estate example. Let's say that I've made the decision that I want to increase the percentage of the percentage of my business that comes from listings. That's great. That would be a really good thing to do, a goal to set in your plan. Well, as I look at the barriers, I might realize that one of the barriers is, I'm not so good at listing presentations. So I've got a couple of choices here. I could say, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do listings. Or I can say, all right, Simple solution, I need to become masterful at listings. That's what I need to do. And I go find a source to help me feel masterful. And you know, one of the things I've noticed over all the years is that if you don't feel really masterful and confident or competent at a skill, you'll never have the confidence to execute, like ever. And so that's really, really important that you have that competency in the beginning of your plan. 
So how do you discover these barriers would be the big question. And of course, I have a great resource for you straight out of my course, A Strategic Year. I have something called the Strategic Agent Barrier Worksheet. And I have this as a resource for you. Now you can go ahead and download that and it takes you through this process of if this is your barrier, this is a possible solution, etc. However, I've been doing a lot of blogs and I've got a webinar. All of those are resources all dedicated to help you with your planning. Those are all listed down here in the, um, or down here below, and you are welcome to go out and use all of those resources so you can build a strategic year. I'll see you next time.